Hey everyone, welcome back to the Investing Iguanas channel. I'm your host, Iggy. Today, we have a special episode focused on Singapore's housing market, specifically the October 2023 Build to Order, or BTO, sales exercise. Whether you're a first-time homebuyer, a young couple, or a seasoned investor, you won't want to miss this. We'll break down the latest BTO launches, the new rules, and what all of this means for you. So let's dive right in. The Big Picture BTO Launch Overview On October 4th, 2023, Singapore's Housing and Development Board, HDB, initiated a build-to-order, BTO, sales exercise, releasing a substantial batch of 6,800 flats available for purchase. These residential units are strategically distributed across four key towns, Choa Chukang, Kaolang slash Wampoa, Queenstown, and Tinga. Of particular interest are two prime sites, one in Kaolang slash Wampoa and another in Queenstown, which have been designated under the prime location public housing model. This initiative marks a significant step in expanding housing options for residents, offering a blend of locations to cater to various lifestyle needs and preferences. Iggy's Insight If you're a first time family, this could be your golden opportunity. The rules are getting stricter, but that also means you'll face less competition from buyers who aren't as committed. More first-time families First-time families with children are receiving special attention in the housing allocation process. To support these families in establishing a stable home environment, they are granted an extra ballot in housing lotteries, increasing their chances of securing a flat. Additionally, a larger number of flats are being specifically set aside for these families. This initiative aims to prioritize the needs of young families, helping them gain easier access to suitable housing. By doing so, the community is taking proactive steps to ensure that these families have the foundational stability they need for a prosperous future. Iggy's Insight Now is a fantastic time to get into the market if you're planning to start a family. But keep in mind, the pool of such buyers may be small. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments. Impact of estate reclassification New residential flats set to launch in the second half of next year will undergo a reclassification into three distinct categories, prime, plus, and standard. This new system aims to offer prospective homeowners a clearer understanding of what each type of flat offers in terms of amenities and quality. Alongside this reclassification, flats falling under the prime and plus categories will be subject to a longer minimum occupation period, MOP. The extension of the MOP for these higher tier flats is designed to encourage long-term residency and foster a more stable community within these premium living spaces. This change reflects a broader strategy to enhance the housing market, making it more transparent and tailored to the diverse needs of the population. Iggy's Insight If you're contemplating the idea of purchasing a flat near an MRT station or in areas on the city fringe, it would be prudent to make your move swiftly before new classifications come into effect. These upcoming changes could potentially impact property prices and availability, making it more challenging to secure a desirable location. Proximity to an MRT station offers unparalleled convenience for daily commuting, while city fringe areas provide a balanced lifestyle that combines urban amenities with a touch of tranquility. Waiting too long to make a decision could result in higher costs and fewer choices, as these sought-after locations are likely to be the first to experience shifts in market dynamics. Therefore, acting quickly is key to securing a flat that meets your lifestyle needs and financial considerations. Impact of Non-Selection Rule If you decide to reject a BTO, build to order, flat offer, be prepared to lose your priority status for an entire year. This newly implemented rule aims to streamline the application process by reducing the number of applicants. Specifically, it seeks to filter out individuals who are not yet ready to make a long-term commitment to homeownership. The intention is to make the allocation of BTO flats more efficient, ensuring that they go to those who are genuinely interested and prepared to move forward. Iggy's Insight If you're on the fence about committing to a BTO flat, it may be more prudent to skip this application round altogether. By doing so, 
you preserve your priority status for future opportunities, allowing you more time to weigh your options and make a more informed decision. Robust Demand for Two-Room Flexi Flats The demand for two-room flexi flats has seen a significant surge, with an average of three applicants vying for each available unit since 2021. This heightened interest has prompted the government to take proactive measures to increase the supply of these flats to meet the growing need. The situation presents a balanced market where both demand and supply are robust, making it an opportune moment for potential homeowners. Iggy's insight adds another layer to this scenario. If you're single and looking to invest in property, this could be your golden opportunity. The government's plans to ramp up supply means that you have a better chance of securing a flat, making it an ideal time to enter the housing market. Project Analysis In Choa Chu Kong, the demand for residential properties is anticipated to be robust, largely due to its strategic location near a multitude of amenities and an MRT station, making it a convenient choice for daily commuters. On the other hand, Kaolang slash Wampoa is another area that offers close proximity to essential amenities, but potential buyers should be prepared for stiff competition due to its desirability. Queenstown, a well-established estate, comes with a higher price tag but compensates with an array of amenities, including shopping centers and parks. Tinga is an emerging area with significant future potential, especially with the upcoming Jirong region line set to enhance its connectivity. Iggy's insight, when considering these projects, it's crucial to weigh the unique advantages and disadvantages each location presents. Assess your individual needs, whether it's commute convenience, access to amenities, or budget constraints, to make an informed decision that best suits your lifestyle. That's it for today's deep dive into the October 2023 BTO sales exercise. The key takeaway is to be clear about what you want and to act quickly. The rules are changing, but for serious buyers, this could actually be a good thing. If you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. It really helps us to understand what kind of content you want to see more of. And don't forget to subscribe. Here at The Investing Iguana, we're dedicated to helping you navigate your financial journey with confidence and clarity. And guess what? There's plenty more where this came from. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos, where we'll tackle other interesting financial topics like the best investment strategies, understanding the stock market, and how to make your money work harder for you. As always, we're thrilled to have you as part of our Investing Iguana community. Your support helps us keep producing free content like this. Remember, every like, share, and subscribe goes a long way. Thanks for joining us today. Keep investing, keep growing, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.